This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Peninsula Elementary School continued its tradition Wednesday of participating in National Bike to School Day. A group of basketball players in Oregon were honored with saving the life of one of their teammates. Questions about a Confederate flag rug led to a confrontation with employees at a Portland store. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Peninsula Elementary School continued its tradition Wednesday of participating in National Bike to School Day. Joined by Moses Lake Police and the Grant County Health District, students packed the parking lot of the El Sendero Life Center Church just a few blocks away from the school, where it was all about bicycle safety during the fourth annual event. Students were fitted for new bike helmets if needed and received a bike lock or reflector thanks to a grant from the Washington State Public School Bike Project. Students also had the chance to ride through a skills course during the annual bike rodeo that taught the young riders proper hand signals, maneuvering, what to do in a crosswalk, and practice skills needed to navigate busy roads. Moses Lake Police joined the more than 100 students for a quick ride to school where students were able to use the skills learned during the bike rodeo. While Bike to School Day serves as a way to educate young students on safety, Moses Lake Police say it's also a good reminder for drivers to take it slow in school zones. National Bike to School Day provides an opportunity for communities across the country to join together to celebrate safe, active transportation. More than 2,500 schools in 49 states participated this year. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. It's not easy to quickly pick out the player recovering from quadruple bypass surgery. Kind of surprised how, how well I'm doing. George Tierney is a high school basketball ref who climbs Mount St. Helens and plays twice a week with the over the hill basketball team until a couple weeks ago. Next thing I know, I turned around to go start the second game, and all of a sudden I heard a big old boom. I turned around, he's laying on the ground. His teammates called 911, but didn't take a timeout. Some started CPR. Others ran into the hall outside the gym at Chief Umtuck Middle School to grab the AED. <laughs> Roland Dizon stepped up to use it to try and jumpstart George's heart with an electric shock. I never use it, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm scared, so I'm just kind of follow what the instruction the AED tells me. And the first thing in my mind is that good Samaritan law better be applicable in this situation. Within two minutes, firefighters had arrived and took over. Tonight, they honored the players for their life-saving moves. By acting and doing what you, you did, uh, that's why we're here tonight. You guys are really the heroes. You guys are the lifesavers. This was the first time George was back at the school and able to thank some of the guys whose smarts and speed won him more time with family and these longtime friends. I just have to thank God they did what they did. I wouldn't be here otherwise. George plans on rejoining the team in due time. The Over the Hill gang still with plenty of hustle to keep their players in the game. In Battleground, Lisa Balick, Coin6 News. Hillary supporter, Bernie supporter, which one do you vote for at loss? An ugly exchange on Heather Franklin's Facebook Live video after she pointed out a Confederate flag designed rug for sale in the store. I would not have confronted with kids with me if I would have known that the reaction was going to be violent like that. And then... That was really scary. Franklin says those employees followed her into the parking lot. I was very shocked. I mean, to be called a by any employee is kind of harsh to be flipped off. Store management says the rug never should have made it to the sales floor. We do not order these rugs by any particular style. We buy 150 to 200 of them at a time. They come in every six, eight weeks. And when I came in and saw the video, I was upset. Store president Andrew Toulson says store management is now discussing punishment for the employees in that video. These are two good employees who have been with the company a long time, and uh, obviously they, they handled the situation very poorly. I'd love to talk to her and make it right and uh, let her know that we are not, you know, uh, a racist organization or we have nothing that's as far from who we are as, as can be. Meanwhile, another employee in the store at the time of the incident wasn't concerned about that rug's presence. Over-exaggeration, you know. Yeah. 
wouldn't affect wouldn't affect you and, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't affect your, anyone um, unless you're looking for trouble then you're finding trouble but it doesn't bother anyone if you know history you don't want it you don't buy it but franklin felt she had to say something there's absolutely no reason to say that that's okay to see that in a store you know so yeah for me i wasn't going to walk out of the This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.